For the most part, the feelings were of a complete lack of purpose. It was such a deep, dark sadness and anger. There was a lot of anger. I felt like using my art as a form of, of coping with what I was living with. So I've lived with um, depression and anxiety since I was quite young, but um, just diagnosed, um, in, I'd say about like 15 years now. When I was younger and I was having to deal with the depression, a lot of the times coming from bullying, I would purposely make myself as big and as odd and as wild as possible so that when the kids were making fun of me, it was because I gave them that reason to make fun of me. I was doing something so large um, that they could because the thought that these kids would make fun of me for just being me, that was too much. So I was like, okay, you know, how, how can I be as outrageous as possible? So I think that's the stilt character is that literal me being larger than life. So Legacy Circus is um, a contemporary circus arts duo. It's Aaron and I. Right now we've worked on the idea of this, this character, my stilt character, finding Aaron and teaching her how to love all the different ways that she can play with different attachments for her legs. Because what we do is unconventional, I'm forced to be more creative in my process and what I do. The process that I take in creating my art and creating my characters is entirely related to how I'm feeling and how I'm living with my own madness. I want so bad for inclusivity. I want to normalize having different minds and bodies in the art period. The limitation that's being placed on the disabled community is outside, it's not inside. Um, it has nothing to do with whether or not that person is disabled and everything to do with the way that we've just structured everything else. I feel really good these days and that doesn't mean that I have had victory over depression and anxiety. I'm gonna live with that forever. That's just a part of the way that my brain works. Like a lot of the times people view disability um, whether it be a mental illness or be something physical is something that you have to overcome or that you have to have victory over and I don't I don't personally feel that way I think it's just something that I can accept live with and learn to love myself for